to me, Douglas's character was like a kaleidoscope. And I'd like to tell just one story, which is like a little bit of glass from that kaleidoscope, which says uh, just something about Douglas's humanity. I had the huge good fortune in 1971 to accompany Douglas on a lecture and workshop tour of Canada and the United States. And we were in Toronto, staying with a friend called Patrick out in the suburbs. The time came when we had to go to the airline office in Toronto, in the centre of Toronto, to collect our tickets for the next step in the journey, which was to go to Vancouver and then Seattle. So we got on the tram and we must have been riding. It was some way to get from the suburbs to the centre. We must have been riding about 25 minutes or so on this tram when I felt in my pocket and discovered that I didn't have my passport, which was necessary in order to pick up the tickets. So I had to turn to Douglas and say, Douglas, uh, I'm sorry, I've left my passport in Patrick's apartment. Well, Douglas, who liked to keep a fairly tight schedule when it came to workshops and talks, gave me a somewhat dark look. And of course we had to get up and get off the tram and then catch another tram and go all the way back to Patrick's and I had to ferret around and find my passport. This we did. We then caught another tram and went back towards the centre of Toronto. After about 25 minutes or so, in exactly the same spot as I was looking out the window as we had been when I discovered my uh, absent passport, Douglas felt in his pocket and discovered something. And he turned to me and he said, Colin, I've forgotten my passport. Well, I guess I had a bit of a big smile here because we then had to get off and go all the way back to Patrick's apartment to collect Douglas's passport. And I have to say, when I think back to that little incident, it is with huge affection. <laughs>